Madam Chair. Yes. Please sit. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, introduce yourself. My name is Ishan Jain. I am from Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. In my family, a part of me, I have my mother, a part of my parents, I have a younger sister. My father's name is Shetan Jain. He, he is a businessman. My mother's name is Namita Jain and she is a homemaker. I have completed my 10th from CBSE board mm -hmm. with the percentage of 71%. And I have completed my 12th mm -hmm. from C and I have completed my 12th from CBSC board mm -hmm. with overall percentage of 83% and my PCM percentage was 77%. Okay. So in your family you have a younger sister? Yes. Okay. And what is your father's profession? Sir, he is a businessman. Uh, what business he is doing? He is a shop of gold jewelry, gold and silver jewelry. Gold and silver jewelry. Okay, so you are from a rich family actually. Uh, sort of. Okay. So why do you want to join Merchant Navy? Sir, my reason behind joining Merchant Navy is that Merchant Navy has a clear portfolio of growth. Mm -hmm. As we join, as we clear, as we complete our DNS from a specific company, mm -hmm. we do a day credit on day credit on chip and get experience of 18 months and we go uh, and we give exam of COC uh, after 18 months of practice mm -hmm. which uh, which promotes us to third grade and after yeah, that I know I, I just wanted to know why do you want to join Merchant Navy and sir, basic reason is that it shows a great pro proper and a, a clear transparent growth mm -hmm. and it's too poor. Merchant Navy also satisfied my three basic aspects of my life money health and contribution health it's provide us a clean and pollution free environment in between the seas mm -hmm. it, most of the ships do have gyms for our health and fitness for our health and fitness mm -hmm. contribution merchant navy is a second line of defense and to directly or indirectly contribute to whole the world, for whole world. why are you nervous right now <laughs> that Fear, sort of fear. What kind of fear? I'm not going to hit you anymore. It's like camera, facing cameras and facing a person. Interaction is facing my fear. Okay. The forget about the cameras, you are facing me right now. Are you fearing right now? Afraid of me? No, sir. <laughs> okay. Look, your father is in a very good business. Yes, sir. And actually, he is earning a very good amount, handsome amount. So, why are you not interested for that business? Sir, that business, sir, actually, gold business is very, very, matlab, so it is a very professional, matlab, sort of a rich type of business. Mm -hmm. But that business too has many risks. Mm -hmm. I don't figure about risk, but the reason is that. He, it is not a that much big showroom, it is normal a shop, small shop. That's to okay. compete with that big showrooms, we have to grow more and that needs customers. So customers are going instead of small shops, they are preferring this big showrooms. Mm -hmm. Which is main reason that I don't want to join my father's business. So you can learn all these things, no? you can customize it, you can uh, open the chain like the name of yours, what is your name, Ishan, Ishan Jewelers and there is a chain of Ishan Jewelers in Delhi or in other uh, states or even in other cities, in good cities, you are from Bhopal, Bhopal. so in Bhopal there, there are so many uh, chains of uh, these jewelers and all, Yes. so you can start something like that, you can learn something, there are so many business gurus nowadays, they are teaching an enormous amount of things, how to market, how to sell and all these things. And my mind is not that much in business. And uh, how do you know that? You have, to, have you tried? Yes, I tried. Yeah. How? So by going and shop setting on the shop, not only mine but my uncle's too. Okay. So I learned that I concluded that my mind is not that much in business that I can own a business. Okay. Suppose you are going in Virtual TV. You tell me the three negative things about Virtual TV. So three negative things. Um, away from family, yeah. no immediate health and medical, mm -hmm. and uh, risk of life. 
risk of life is there so why are you counting risk of life specifically risk of life in terms of what in terms of ship collapsing of ship so have you uh, heard any news of ship collapsing or all no but it can happen <laughs> your car can also collapse huh? your bike can also collapse yes, sir. Anyway. so suppose you are on a ship and one of your family members like your mother or father is seriously ill and hospitalized and you are on board you cannot go home what will you do at that time sir at that time i will be calm and focus that what can be focus and find the conclusion by not panic not taking panics mm -hmm. so sir can take conclusions that like, like my friends can instead of me my friend can do the, the help them to get medical first proper medical facilities instead of but it's not for your facilities i'm saying uh, your mother is nahi a part of me he can go na with them okay okay, okay. i so, can i can't know i'm so on people board. who are here ha my friends cousins okay okay they, okay, okay, okay okay suppose uh, on ship there are two seniors who are harassing you badly what will you do sir instead of getting anger or shouting or mm -hmm. disrespecting them mm -hmm. i can appre i can do much better in my work for that they are scolding or harassing they are not scolding you they are harassing you they are harassing you means they are bullying you they are hitting you they are bullying you what will you do at that time so can complain to my or higher say for authorities can complain or you will complain. complain you will complain are you sure okay suppose in emergency situation you have done some mistake and your senior slapped you what will you do at that time sir i will admit my mistake that it was my mistake mm -hmm. instead of disrespecting or shouting on him i will accept that it was my mistake mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the Archimedes principle? Archimedes principle. Yes, yes, sir. The upward boiling force applied on a submerged liquid is submerged liquid. No, oh, submerged object in the liquid is equal to the displaced weight. Displaced water fluid. Displaced, displaced weight. Displaced is equal to the weight is equal to the displaced fluid. Whose weight is equal to displaced fluid? The submerged world, the submerged object, submerged object's weight mm -hmm. is equal to displaced water. How displaced water? You are saying displaced water. What volume, density? What displaced water? The that water displaced of uh, uh, okay, water, water displaced. Water. But how are you counting that water? Like so the amount of water increased, volume of water increased, volume of water. Come again. Are Just for the do the definition. Archimedes principle states that the the upward boiling force applied on the submerged object. Upward boiling force applied on the submerged object is equal to the weight. You want to use pencil and paper to write it down? No, sir. Okay. So. What is the Archimedes principle? Sir, so the amount of water displaced is equal to. Okay, what is Pascal's law? Pascal. Okay, can you tell me difference between uh, latitude and longitude? Sir, so latitude are the Horizontal latitudes are the imaginary horizontal line covering the Earth, Earth, and longitudes are the going from which direction to which direction? Sir, they go to from east to west. Okay. And lot lot uh, longitudes are the horizontal imaginary lines covering the globe from north to south. Horizontal or vertical? Sorry, but horizontal. Horizontal or vertical? Sir, vertical. So latitude and longitude are perpendicular to each other. 
Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Suppose I am giving you uh, 1 crore rupees, what will you do? Sir, 1 crore rupees invest. I will invest half of the money in land mm -hmm. and the rest of half of the money I will use to build that land with a building mm -hmm. and sell it on rent so I can earn a side income. Don't you think it will take us? so much time because you will uh, sell the land and then you will make a building and then you will wait for the tenants you said that's okay so but for a long run set that will give me a permanent income that will be my permanent income source how permanent because you are depending on tenants suppose tenants are not coming to your flats in that case how is it permanent tenants are not permanent yes sir Sometimes it happens even in Gurgaon and Delhi, it is happening that uh, like if it is a metro city, then your flat will go out, go for uh, rent and all. But in Bhopal or in Indore, in even in Gurgaon, in Lucknow, so then I will prefer to buy a land near a whole college. Then, then it will be then there is a person, then there will be my tenants. Students will be my tenants, new students. Okay, so again you will build a hostel, mm -hmm. so it will take time and then you will wait for and students yes. and tenants. Suppose there are two other hostels. And then, then my facilities will be my fault. Then okay. my facilities will attract. Uh, can you tell me the job profile of Decadent? The job profile of decorated. The job decorated directly work under the chief officer. Mm -hmm. uh, a decorated has to watch for two, four, four hours for two times in a day. Mm -hmm. And he used to do that all the work that chief officer, chief officer assigned him. Okay. Chicken. So, an interview you have a man career. Now we are going for analysis. This is your first interview. Yes, sir. Abhi tak kahi koi interview nahi diya. Nahi. Bilkul bhi. Haan, seven hai rain with you. Chik hai. Fleet management mein, ho aapko ye force kare ye ke aap kisi di tarikhe se tour jau. Beach mein, ke merchant mein nahi join karo. Ho aapko dhas var bolenge. You have to prepare. You have to be ready for that. And prepare your questions for that. Thik hai? दूसरी बात ये है आपने बाकी क्वेश्चंस अच्छे दिए हैं लेकिन नर्वसनेस बहुत ज्यादा है और जब पहले तो ड्रेस पे आते हैं ड्रेस में वाइट शर्ट होनी चाहिए वाइट शर्ट हां और ब्लैक टाई टाई थोड़ा ठीक से होना चाहिए ये ठीक नहीं है दूसरी बात डोर आप जब आए थे तो आपका डोर पूरा बंद करना चाहिए जब आप यहां पे आए हो तो मुझे ऐसा लगा था कि आप डायरेक्टली चेयर पे जाने वाले हो आपने पूछा नहीं था मैं ऐसे था तो मैंने डायरेक्टली बोल दिया बट आपकी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है पहले ये पूछना Okay. बाकी क्वेश्चंस आपने सही आंसर किए हैं वाई मर्चेंट नेवी में काफी ज्यादा नर्वस हो तो मुझे लग रहा है तीन चार बार इंटरव्यू हो गए तो ठीक हो जाएगा टेक्निकल पार्ट में आर्किमिडीज प्रिंसिपल आना ही आना चाहिए वो कहीं पे भी गड़बड़ नहीं होना चाहिए आपके डेफिनेशन गड़बड़ है बहुत ज्यादा नर्वस हो आपको आर्किमिडीज प्रिंसिपल पास्कल्स लो ये सब चीजें नहीं आती हैं फ्लूइड मैकेनिक से रिलेटेड सारी चीजें आनी चाहिए लैटिट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड में भी तुम कंफ्यूज हो ठीक है तो इसमें इतनी स्ट्रेंथ होनी चाहिए कि आप पूरे कॉन्फिडेंस से बोल पाओ इन्वेस्टमेंट के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से ये एक इमेजिनरी क्वेश्चन है जो हम हमेशा पूछते हैं लेकिन ये सिर्फ इसलिए पूछा जाता है कि आपके दिमाग में कोई प्लान है या नहीं है तो आपका प्लान बहुत ज्यादा सॉलिड नहीं है दूसरी बात ये कि आपका प्लान ऐसा है जो आपने अपने सीनियर से सुना होगा कि आजकल जमीन खरीदने तो बहुत अच्छा हो है ठीक है उसमें लेकिन जमीन खरीदने के बाद उस पर घर बनवाना और उसको चलाना एक फुल टाइम जॉब है आपको अगर पैसे मिल रहे हैं तो उसको ऐसे ही यूज करो जिससे पैसे में इनकम हो जिसमें आपको दिन में दो से तीन घंटे का ही टाइम देना पड़ेगा कुछ ऐसा सोचो ठीक है जॉब प्रोफाइल वाला ठीक था नेक्स्ट टाइम हम कुछ और क्वेश्चन इसमें ऐड करेंगे और फिर देखेंगे फ्लीट मैनेजमेंट में टेक्निकल पार्ट बहुत कम पूछा जाता है मेनली वो नॉन टेक्निकल पे काम करते हैं तो तुम्हें भी उसके ऊपर ज्यादा काम करना इवन टेक्निकल में जो हमने दो क्वेश्चन बनाए हुए ऑलरेडी वो सब पढ़ करके जाना अगर टेक्निकल भी पूछे तो भी करो लेकिन 
नॉन टेक्निकल पे बहुत ज्यादा फोकस करेंगे ठीक है थैंक यू सर